At PwC, we are striving to inspire our people and clients to become part of our technology story. As the world we live in is increasingly shaped by technology, our organisation is adapting. We are disrupting ourselves through the use of new technologies. But for us, being technology enabled is about more than just using technology. It's about us combining our industry insight and technology know-how with emotional intelligence to solve important human problems that make a positive difference in society. It means thinking differently about how we work with clients, working collaboratively with them to capitalise on the new opportunities presented by such technologies as machine learning, robotics and virtual and augmented reality. We are also adapting our more traditional services through early adoption of artificial intelligence in such areas as our audit systems, tax compliance work and even our economic modelling. We are focused on becoming the place to work for technologies by offering rewarding career opportunities and inspiring working environments that attract, retain and develop top tech talent. But the challenges of a diverse tech workforce still are very significant. Our Women in Tech research highlighted that only 27% of female students would consider a career in technology and only 3% saying it's their first choice. We think this is a serious, critical societal problem, so we are playing our part to change the perception of tech careers with young girls and women. And our Women in Tech program has events such as our successful session back in March, right here at the Science Museum, which aimed at inspiring a new generation of girls to consider a career in technology. And in June, we launched our Tech Degree Apprenticeship Program at two universities with the aim of widening the diversity of our graduate recruits by giving students from a broad range of backgrounds work experience in technology that's built into their degree and a guaranteed job offer at the end. Cyber risk is the second biggest business threat according to our CEO survey. And this year has seen a series of high profile security compromises not least when a number of NHS systems were disabled by ransomware in May. Our cyber practice has really developed and expanded throughout the year, and this has helped both PwC and our clients meet these cyber challenges before they become the next victims. We've also taken part in significant cross-organisation investigations, such as working with BAE Systems and the National Cyber Security Centre to uncover and disrupt what is thought to be one of the largest ever sustained global cyber espionage campaigns, Operation Cloudhopper. To support our focus on innovation through collaboration with our clients and our Tech Alliance partners, this year we launched our Frontier Data Lab in London. Last year we also embarked on our collaboration with Google, which saw PwC adopt its G Suite of tools and applications. This is already driving change in the ways we work and collaborate both with each other at PwC and with our clients. As the wave of change hits us, it remains important for us to lead the way in thinking through the social impacts. So we've developed and published our first responsible technology charter. This outlines a set of principles which help us to think about the impact of technology on our business, our clients, our external stakeholders and society more generally and guides our actions. We're well into the fourth industrial revolution, but we're confident that we're embracing the opportunity this technological change presents for ourselves, our clients, and wider society. Wow.